Alrighty guys, we are going to look at scanning your work using OneDrive, the app called OneDrive. Actually very, very cool to have. If you are working on a desktop or a laptop computer, you can install OneDrive on your computer using the link over there, or just scan this QR code scan this QR code over there. That'll also help you to install Microsoft OneDrive on your computer. But you will probably be using a tablet or a phone in order to do the actual scanning. Now, I work on an Android device, but this will work the same on an iOS device. Okay, so there, please go ahead and there, right up there, okay, have a look, just scan that, okay, scan that QR code and put the OneDrive app on your device whether it's a tablet or a phone. Okay, that's the first step. Okay, get OneDrive on your device. Then once you have OneDrive on your device, have a look carefully at your device and look at the screen and find the OneDrive application and launch the OneDrive application and it'll do something like this. Obviously, you will have to sign in and I suggest using your school email address and password. You're going to need to do that. And then you can see right at the bottom right there on my screen, probably the same one yours is a camera icon. Do you see that camera icon? You better see that camera icon. That's what you need to click on in order to start scanning. So you click on the camera icon, it activates your camera and you have your documents or your pieces of paper that you've written on in front of you on the table. Hold the camera above the work and you can see that the scanner starts to try and detect the page for you. You'll notice that I have selected document as the type of scan that I'm doing and I suggest you do the same. So click on document please. Then you will see it puts like this blue border around the page. Once you are happy that it has detected the page and the border is accurately around your page, press the take photo button. Okay, on my screen it's that big white circle over there. Press that and then you'll see, hey, I can actually take another photo. And this is what you want to do unless it's only one page. If this is more than one page, do not finish. Don't say done. Add the next page. Okay, so look over there. There's a little plus button that says add new. So just click add new, scan your next page and your next page and your next page. and your... So keep scanning until you've scanned all the pages of the work that you need to supply to your teacher. When you are done, then you click on done. Okay. That will bring you to a screen that looks something like this. It says save as, and then there is a little tick on the right hand side and underneath that there's a, a, a name it says scan 2010 blah 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 that is the file name guys please it's very important to type in the correct file name okay so type in your surname type in the name of the assignment or just type in whatever it is your teachers told you to type in okay that's very important but please at least at least put your surname there okay underneath it'll say save to files and let's just leave that as is that'll go straight to your OneDrive in the root folder of your OneDrive so let's leave it straight there okay then we click on the blue tick click on the blue tick and it'll say uploading scan so obviously you need to wait a little bit depending on how many pages you've scanned upload the scan when the scan has been uploaded it's automatically made into a pdf document for you in your onedrive and as you can see if i scrolled down a little bit on my screen this is still on my phone there it is right there haynes underscore t no i lie haynes assignment number one that's the one <laughs> sorry haynes assignment number one there it is and that is a pdf document so now let's look, okay, we've got all of this. Now it's time to send this to our teacher. So we're back in Microsoft Teams on our computer, okay? Not on the phone. Please don't do this on a phone, guys. On the laptop or the desktop PC, here we are in Microsoft Teams. I click on my general channel. I click on assignments. And there it is, the new English paper. Yes, I click on new English paper because this is what it's for. And there are all the instructions. You've seen this all before. And right at the bottom, it says my work, my work. And it says add work. Now I want to add my PDF document that I've just created. And it's sitting in my OneDrive ready to add. So I click on add work and up pops this window and I can actually choose OneDrive, new file, link, Teams. OneDrive is the default and this is why we're using OneDrive because have a look there. Right there it says 
Haynes assignment number one dot PDF. It's sitting there in my OneDrive ready to submit. I then go to the bottom right side where it says attach. There's a little button that says attach. I click on attach. It then adds the work to the assignment. Have a look. There it is underneath my work. Haynes assignment number one is sitting there ready to hand in. So what do I do now? Well, I click on hand in. I click on hand in and then I receive feedback there. Handed in late. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, Wednesday, 13th of May, blah, blah, blah. There it is there. And my work is now done. So that is how you are going to do it. You scan it in using OneDrive and then you create it as a PDF and then you upload it by adding it to my work.